Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, I've got a little project I'm going to be doing today. Uh, should be a fairly quick and easy lathe job. And uh, what I got, I'm going to make is a couple of bushings. And this is uh, for a friend of mine uh, out in Texas who uh, has got a, I think it's a zero turn lawnmower made by John Deere. And it has four of these little plastic bushings in it. And they keep wearing out and he's wanting to actually make some bushings out of some bronze so i have actually purchased some bronze he specifically wanted me to make this out of oilite if you're not familiar with oilite this is a type of bronze that is fairly porous and it's actually impregnated with some oil so it, the oil kind of absorbs into the bronze material and it does a really good job of keeping things lubricated i've worked with this pro this material before and uh, this type of application is an ideal application for it. So I'm going to get set up over here on the lathe and uh, we're going to make a few of these. Got the part set up over here in the lathe, uh, just got chucked in there. And we're going to start by facing the front of this, getting a good surface. Uh, That looks good. This, uh, I will tell you, this oil light will kind of have a little bit of a rough surface because there are some uh, voids in there where the oil resides, so it's not perfectly smooth. I'm just gonna put a mark on here at about a inch and a quarter, which is about how long the part is. See there, it's actually just a little bit shorter than that, but that'll give me Something to work with. The original part, the outside diameter is about one inch, 575. So we're at about one inch, 765 thou. So we got uh, almost 200 thou we need to pull off of that diameter. Start with 100 thou. That stuff is spraying the brass. That's one thing about brass and bronze is that uh, it does tend to want to kind of spray stuff back in your face. So I'm going to try something here. So a while back, uh, I purchased this little uh, shield. It's just a piece of plexiglass. It's on like a magnetic indicator, indicator mount. And um, it will hopefully help keep all that stuff from splashing up in my face while I'm running. Uh, just picked this up. I got it from Shars, uh, Shars.com. This is in their catalog. We're going to try it out. First time I'm going to use it here. And uh, I'm going to do another 100 thou. So that was just coming right back up in my face a minute ago. I literally had to get out of the way. And now I can stand right here and run my lathe and it not be all over me. This is awesome. You kind of have to move it out of the way to make a measurement, but that beats eating chips. Looks like we need about another 10 thou. So a little light pass through there. And that's right on size. Okay, next. Let's see here. We're at about a one inch from the end. That oil in there is not wanting to let it stick real good. But that ought to be good. I've got my caliper set to one inch. Describing a little line there for me to see where we're going to.
All right, we're at 185. We're going to 125, so we got 60 more thou to come off of that. I'll dial that in, and we should have that down to size. I'm going to stop here, and we'll come out and face that back. All right, we're at 125, we're good. So we should have the outside geometry of this done, the two, two surfaces there. What I'm gonna do next is just part this thing off. And uh, then in a second operation, I will come and bore the inside um, to the proper inside diameter, but we should have that pretty well done on the outside. Let's get my parting tool set up and we'll go ahead and part that off. Got my parting tool in here. What I'm gonna do is just use a rule and I'm gonna get the back side of this parting tool flush with the front of this. Now I can use a dial indicator over here to go in my depth and uh, let me get that set up. It's at one inch, 150 thou is uh, what we need to do. So let me uh, dial this in. That's 100, 200, 300, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So that's one inch. Let me reset my indicator here. We need to go another 150. That's 150 right there. So we're just gonna part this off. I just put a little piece of metal there on my drill chuck and that should catch that when it comes off. Part right off. There we go. So there you go. Got one down. I'm going to make uh, three more of these, and then we'll flip them around and uh, bore the insides to size. All right, I got my four blanks made over here and now I need to do the inside bore. That needs to go out to one inch. I've just flipped these parts around and uh, we will turn the bore to match the outside OD. Um, and that bore needs to be one inch or really just a little bit over one inch, like a half a thou or so to give some clearance. And the uh, hole through there is just a cast hole. It's not probably perfectly round. It measures about 850 thou. So we got roughly, 150 thou to take out of here. If that hole's even running true, I'm just gonna touch off. And uh, so I'm just gonna do about a 60 thousandth pass through there. We'll get a good measurement after we uh, get it cleaned up. And to measure these, I'm using a uh, inside bore micrometer. It's got three little feet in there. And we are, looks like just a little over 900 thou. So we got a, basically another 100 thou to take out. Do another 60 thou. Another measurement. So we're about 960 thou. I got about 40 more thou to go. Let's see where we are. That's a little over half a thou over. That's exactly where I want to be. I think this one's done. I do want to put a little relief. If you look here, they have a little relief in there. We'll uh, 
do something along those same lines here. And I'm gonna go in about 75 thou here. And I'm gonna pull the cutter to me about 150 thou. Two, four, six, eight, hundred, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. I'm going to come out. should have my little step in there. And that's about right. Okay. I think that one's done. And just like that, I think we got this project done. Uh, we made four new bronze bushings to replace these plastic ones here. Yeah, I don't have the little scallops on there, but it's just going to fit down in a hole, so it's not going to matter. And uh, I think these will hopefully last longer than the plastic ones will. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that little quick project here over on the metal lathe and uh, bronze bushings. I've made a million of them over the years for different applications. Uh, uh, the nice thing about them is they're easily to replace. Just knock out the old ones, put in new ones, uh, and they have their place and purpose. And hopefully these will hold up better than the plastic ones uh, that he was using previously. Well, guys, that's going to be a wrap. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Those thumbs up and comments are appreciated. And guys, we'll catch you on the next video.